Alright guys, I have my iPod here and we are in firmware 1.1.3. It doesn't matter what firmware you're in, but I have it jailbroken and I have some applications installed. But I'm gonna, today we're going to show you how to change an icon, um, or yeah, an icon. And what I'm going to do is change We Dictionary's icon. So what we're first going to do is go into Installer if you don't have it yet. Go under install, go down to productivity, go down all the way to Wii Dictionary, install, and then we're going to go back. And then I should have it, yeah, right there. It, you probably can't see it, but it's the icon it originally starts out with. Alright, so after that, I'm going to set my iPod down. And then on the computer, I'm going to pull up a application uh, iPhone browser. Alright, now I'm going to have to connect and reconnect my iPod. Alright, so now that I've done that, this should come up. Alright, so we have our files there. These are all the files in my iPod, so we're going to go under Applications, and it's going to load. And down here we have We Dictionary, all the way down here. Then all these preferences and files should come up. Now there should be an icon.png right here, and it should come up with that. That's the original icon you start out with. We're going to take, we're going to right click, and we're going to delete file. Because we don't need that now. Alright, so after that, I'm going to pull up an Internet Explorer page. And I'm going to go to google.com. You can go wherever you want. I choose Google Images just because it's the easiest right now. And I'm going to type in dictionary. You can use any image you want, but today I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy, exit out, I'm going to paste here on the desktop, yes, and then I'm going to open it. And we should have that there. Alright, now you're going to have to Photoshop or edit or whatever it is that you do, and then you go under images here, and I'm going to scroll down to attributes and it says 91 by 130 pixels and we need to get down to 30 or not 30 60 by 60 that's very important 60 by 60 pixels otherwise it won't work so I'm gonna stretch and skew and I'm gonna take it down 50% of the size so 50 50 okay and it's got half the size going back down to app attributes and I'm gonna type in 60 tab 60 okay so then it's a little different there all right now we're gonna file save as I'm gonna type in dictionary icon save to my desktop I'm gonna exit out of here and I'm gonna find it right here all right so we have it there it should be smaller Alright, and then we're going to click and we're going to drag it over to here. Alright, now i got to find it again. Um, here it is. And then I'm going to rename, and this is very important, otherwise it won't work. We're going to name it icon.png, all lowercase, otherwise the iPod will not recognize it. Alright, so now, now that we've done that, we're going to go, and I'm going to turn back my iPod back on, and I'm going to do this. If you don't have SMB Prefs, you can just restart it, but this is faster. You need to restart the springboard, though. So we do that. Springboard's restarted. I go back in, and yes, it's that picture I picked out. So that's how you do it. You can do that for any icon you want. Just make sure it's 60 by 60 pixels and it is named icon.png
Now, the icons that originally come with the iPod that aren't from installer, they're a little trickier. I changed the photo from a uh, picture of my, or the photo icon to a picture of my bird. And that was a little tricky. I'll, I'll see if I can show you. Where is it at? Mobile slideshow right here. We're going to click highlight that. And then it has, let's see, icon camera. No, that's not it. Icon photos. Now, this one had to say, you probably can't see it, but it had to say, icon, lowercase icon slash capital photos dot png. So that was a little trickier. Make sure it says exactly what the original one says when you copy it. Otherwise, it won't work. Alright, so basically you have endless possibilities of what you could do with your iPod. It's a primitive, um, I prefer this just because it's more of a primitive explorer or browser on your iPod and it's a little simpler to use than like Qt FTP Pro or Win SCP. So I don't know, I like this. I'll give you the link to download this file in the description.